In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Jenkins server through CLA or else we can manage our Jenkins server by using uh, like a CLA commands. Okay. So now we know that how to use Jenkins job and how to list all Jenkins like plugin and how to create our uh, like pipeline through Jenkins graphical user interface. So the same we can achieve through Camilla interface as well. But in this video, so we will have a small introduction to that. Okay. So first up, we need to install Jenkins Camilla interface on our system. So for that, I've been already record the command and all, and I will share in description itself. We can just get from there itself. Okay. So this is the command. I'll copy this command. And one thing you have to make ensure. So first you have to copy and paste your Jenkins server public or private IP address. Okay. And then you have to uh, use 8080. It's a port number, default port number. If you change the port number, you have to use the same. And then you have to use JNPJARS. You have to use the same. Then after Jenkins uh, hyphen CLHRs. So I'll copy this, then I will install my Jenkins jar file. Okay. So let's go to uh, okay one virtual machine. So in this virtual machine, I installed my Jenkins server. Okay. So you can use any other virtual machine, no problem. Anyway, I've already created one virtual machine dedicated for my uh, Jenkins server. So I'm using the same. Okay. So first copy and paste and by using wget command, we can download any package from internet. Then hit enter. Successfully, it's downloaded that particular file. Let me execute ls command. So now you can see that Jenkins CLA dot jar, right? So all right, now I'll go to uh, next command. So next command, you can see the Java. We will specify the jar file minus jar Jenkins CLA jar. Then minus yes, we have to use uh, this authentication type. See HTTP. Then we have to again use the public API as an 8080. Then minus auth and admin. Okay. So this we have to create one uh, authentication path, which means we have to create one token. Then we have to pass the token along with this line. Okay. Then only so we can authenticate our Jenkins server. Anyway, we cannot, so we cannot access or we cannot do any management. So without any authentication, so we have to do the authentication. So I'll go to my Jenkins server again. Okay. So then let's go to manage Jenkins. Then uh, we have, okay, let, let, I'll do one thing. I'll go to admin, go to configure. So we have an option of a API token, right? So let's create a token, add a new token, generate. So now we created token. I'll copy this token. Just copy it. Uh, then I'll go to this command, then I'll paste all it. Okay, let's replace the old one. Yeah, fine. The same step I'll do here. I'll copy and paste. So first what I will do here, see if you want, you can go with the second command. Okay. This is for just for authentication. So uh, my requirement is I want to list all my jobs. I'll go to my Jenkins server. Okay. Here you can see that I have a two jobs. One is new pre prod. Another one is a pipeline production. So we have a two job or two build. So, and I want to list these two build. So let's go to this command. And I'll copy and paste. Okay. So it's nothing Java. Then I'll specify in the jar and Jenkins CLA jar. Then minus is then HTTP. I'm specifying my link, Jen, uh, Jenkins link, and then authentication, uh, my token ID. Then WebSocket, less job. Okay. And this position uh, will be, uh, so this command will be print my all jobs. So let's copy this. Let's go to the virtual machine and paste. And we supposed to see two projects or two build. Yeah. Here you can see that new pre prod and pipeline production, right? So consider you have a thousands or we have a like a 80 or 60 uh, total build. And if you want to find out, you can specify WC. And you can see that we have a two. Okay. Or else you can specify WC, then minus L, how many lines? And you can see that we have a two projects. Yeah, fine. So same as if you want to find how many plugins you have installed. Okay. So cut symbol, you can use the same command, but instead of list job, you can use list plugins. Okay. Then, uh, that's it. Then if you want, you can specify WC minus L and that's going to print, uh, all plugins count. Yeah. Total have a 83 plugin. And if you want to list, if you want to view that, let me 
do nl command number of lines and you can see the total 83 plugins see email text and ldap lightweight directory access protocol pam authentication pluggable authentication module like so we have a many or numerous like uh, plugins we installed okay fine in this way we can uh, access our jenkins cli and one more thing if you don't know the syntax command and all so what you can do you can directly you can go to this manage jenkins under manage jenkins just come down so we have an option over here uh, jenkins cli where is it jenkins cli let me go to manage jenkins again yeah jenkins cli i'll just open jenkins cli and here you can see that available commands so what you can do you can go to add a job to view add job to view and build build job and optionally wait until its completion cancel queue down and clear queue connect node see we have a numerous commands over you you can just go through that if you want okay but for the sake of simplicity we can use graphical user interface okay but if we want to do any automation then we supposed to use this jenkins cli so we cannot use graphical user interface over there okay so fine if you any doubt please let me know in comment so i can uh, just come over there fine okay anyway i will send this command I'll, or else i'll just put this command in description just get it from there itself thank you